Okay, so there's a couple things on my mind. One is well, one I want I want I want to talk about contribution and what contribution I want to talk about framing. I want to talk about reframing reframing the way that you share your art to stop in a way that's way less reframing the way that you share your art from being I mean frankly it's like most of y'all just selfish I'm selfish too. Like we all selfish, right? It's good to be selfish at, to a certain level, right? But I want to talk about reframing your art and the way you share your art. Sometimes as creators, we could be so locked in and so like just tunnel vision on what we're building. And and a lot of times if we're not where we want to be, locked in and focused on why we are all these all these things that are keeping us from being who we want to be or what we want to do or whatever right but it's like yo you got to reframe how you're going you got to reframe how you're going about this whole thing bro because if you're truly creating if you're truly creating from your heart and you're truly creating out of passion and love these are these are offerings these are honorings rather even these are contributions to a larger whole of history, of art, of, of, of music, of fashion. Like, this is not, I find, I think that, I think that being, and I really, I really see this because of where I'm from, because this is a small city, this is a small town in a fucking state that you probably don't even hardly, I doubt some of you even heard of the state of Arkansas, like literally. <laughs> like, I would hope so, you paid attention a little bit in geography class, but like, I understand that this, the way that we've kind of been programmed and taught is to view ourselves as small. But your art, your, like, it's not a little painting. That's not a little painting. That's not, it's not a little song. Like these are real contra. These are if if this is really what you love, this is really what you get enjoyment and fulfillment out of. Then this is not a small feat. This is this. These are real feelings, real experiences, and this means something. It really means something. And because it really means something, that means it's a, a large contribution to the whole thing. Because if, if we're if we're approaching art as in a silo, like we're in our own little bubble and we're not we're not under if you're not paying attention and paying mind to the fact that your creations, your art, your craft is a contribution. It's an honoring of yourself, of your own life and your own experience, and it's a contribution to the greater whole of what what it means to be an artist and what it what it it's like you have to really approach this stuff like you're creating for the history books and if you don't do that well you're not creating for the history books so it's like do we want to make things that last right like we want to make things that have value and have meaning and and it doesn't what i'm what i don't get it twisted into thinking that to thinking that that's the goal right is to make it into the history books it's like no the fact that you're doing it is the history because because most of what most of what is inspiring all of us isn't coming from the phone and it's not coming from the textbook and it's not coming it's coming from a space beyond us it's coming from a collective consciousness that's what's inspiring us like the, the inspirations the ideas is coming from a space beyond beyond the physical so it doesn't really matter what the fuck you do or what the fuck you achieve in the physical, but it's it's the fact that just simply by doing it, you're putting your idea into the like you're you're bringing your thing into the space, into the into the consciousness. Even if one person heard it, now it's in the consciousness because you took it, like, and that's the whole thing here. Let me go. Let me let me cook. Let me cook. Come on now. Huh? But for real, like. So there's that, right? 
there's that point. I want to make that point. And then the second point that I've been thinking about recently is we have like in that same in that same kind of like rat race. If <laughs> it's kind of it's funny because like you know we, we used to run away from the rat race and now the create the creative race has turned into a rat race because we're fucking chasing numbers, right? <laughs> like what the fuck is this fuckery? So it's like. I've been liking that word a lot lately, huh? Um, fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Fucking vulgar ass nigga. What the hell? All right. Anyway, let me get back on track. So the other thing that's been on my mind is the other thing that's been on my mind is uh, yo. Okay, so we're talking about we don't care about the metrics, right? I mean, we or rather we limit we limit how much we care about the metrics and we limit how much we care about the metrics because we don't want to allow the result to determine the input we don't want the out the output to determine the input we want the input to determine output <laughs> it's like it's all about what we put in it's like love in first you know love out come afterwards but it's like love in first like put something in and then you put something in you're gonna get something out Whatever you get out shouldn't determine how much you put in next time, necessarily. I mean, if we, we, we could go off of many, many uh, analogies and tangents where that might not be the best idea, like gambling, for instance. But like, you know, like you want to be smart about how you're investing your time. But what I'm saying is if you're investing fully, you're investing authentically, you're investing completely your entire heart and soul and might into these creative acts, there is a reason for that. And that reason is because you want to be experienced. You want to be heard, you want to be felt, you want to be seen, and that is okay. That's why we do this, right? We want to be able, we want that. Like, that's okay. <laughs> that is okay. It's okay to desire to be seen and to be heard and to be wanted and to be appreciated and loved. That's what we all want. This is, we're humans. We're humans. But what you must remember is that Everybody's doing that, which means everybody also has a limited amount of capacity for being able to see, hear, perceive, feel, and experience you as a person. And so I use this as a segue into the realization and just a reminder as anybody that's in this field doing content creation, right, doing taking efforts and taking actions in order to be seen to be heard to be felt that's all that's all we're doing it's like you can't demonize content creation because content creation is just an action to take in order for you to be seen to be heard to be felt stop fucking like why why are you i don't want to be a content creator like nigga shut up <laughs> yes you do by the fact the fact that you're an artist means you're a content creator you create content within people Somebody sees and views your art and they feel content. They feel filled by that, hopefully, if you're creating something of value, right? So we don't demonize content creation because it's just a part of the way that we move through the world now. And so the, the, the idea here is to remind us that we have limited capacity. We got 24 hours in the day. You're sleeping for eight of those, I would hope, or at least six of them. You know, you're probably eating for some of it. You're shitting for about an hour. <laughs> hopefully not. Hopefully, like, more like five minutes. You know, <laughs> like, get in and get out. Like, hopefully you're eating all right. So, like, the shit going through, coming out nice. Like, you know, we don't want to be stuck on a pot for an hour because we got limited capacity. So, with that time, that extra time that you have... With that extra time that you have, you have to be smart about the way that you invest it, right? So you cannot be upset as a creator when you're not getting views and engagement and you're trying to drop full project. You're just throwing full, full fledged three hour long fucking talking head podcasts on people. And expecting them to listen to without them knowing who the hell you are a full hour-long EP and just dropping it on them yeah well, I dropped this please go listen to it 
I don't know who you are. I don't know what you're about. I don't know why I should give you any time of my day. So, this is why short form content is as important and, and, and ubiquitous as it is. Because not everybody's got 15 minutes to give a well thought out and probably at least a intentionally produced YouTube video on, you know, how you became, how you, how you discovered, you know, how, how, how you discovered how to use your astrology charts to uh, manifest your next time, <laughs> like, right, but somebody could definitely give you 15 seconds, I got that, I can give you, I can give you 15 seconds, and I, from that 15 seconds, I might decide if I want to give you some more time, but I got to make sure that the investment's going to be okay, so I'll give you 15 tops, if it's, a, if it's good, I might give you 30, if it's real good, I might give you three minutes, you know, but the point I'm making is you are you are you are feeling you are feeling resistance to consistently put yourself out there to re consistently uh, post these videos or post these uh, these product photos these post these uh, poems post these whatever it is whatever it is that you're making right you're feeling resistance to this because you don't want to be a content creator you want to be an artist you want to be a writer you want to be an author you want to be a painter you don't want to create content but the thing is if your goal is to be seen and heard and felt why would you not create content secondly if you are creating content and you want to be seen and heard and felt why and you know and you know that everybody has a limited amount of time to give you why the hell why would you put out a 10 minute long video you would put it out because you know somebody's going to go to it but if you don't know somebody's going to go to it because you don't have a following <laughs> you don't have people that are interested in that 10 minutes that you have to give that would invest 10 minutes in your ideas in your in your passion in your project in your craft they wouldn't invest three minutes niggas are having a hard time getting people to invest two and a half minutes into their little song and you and you want to like get 15 seconds out of somebody and do that enough times that they feel connected enough to you that they will invest some more time in you that they that they feel resonant and and that they feel enough resonance with you and who you are and what you stand for and what your mission is and what your message is that they will give you more but nobody's going to give you two and a half minutes if you don't even give them 15 seconds preview <laughs> you know i just want to do i just want to make art nigga shut up i love you it's for your better good i'm trying to be constructive here these are conversations i have with myself as well you know what i mean but it's like that's all this ever is, is a conversation with the self. But, like, I love you. I hope, I want y'all to succeed. I want everybody to succeed. Like, let's, but not everybody can succeed. Because not everybody cut out for this. We got to be real about it. Not everybody cut out for this shit. Niggas want to be, niggas, niggas really want to be fucking superstars. And do not got a superstar work ethic, mentality, and just essence. You need all those. And some more. So, like, you know, get on it. Work on yourself. Develop yourself. Work on your skills. If, if maybe you're not in a space where you're supposed to be creating content right now. Maybe you are supposed to just be creating the art. But that is a, that is a stage that's allowing you to build your skills. So that when you do come to the space of sharing what you're creating, it's of a certain level of value that people want to invest more time. That's 15 minutes. <laughs> that's 15 minutes. I gave 15 minutes, right? 1445 I'm gonna let it run just so I get 15 minutes if you give me 15 minutes I love you if you stayed this whole time I love you I might post this full video unedited just for just to make a point just to make a point thank you
love.